some guys just can't catch a break. The male anglerfish is 1 per 20th the size of the female anglerfish. The male is that tiny little blob attached to his horrific goddess that you never noticed. He burrows in with his teeth and she feeds him ex utero style until he eventually loses his eyeballs, then internal organs and finally his life. By then, she's got his sperm so it doesn't matter. It's venomous. It's got a duck's bill, otter's feet, and a mammal's body. No wonder Western naturalists were confused by the platypus when it was first introduced. The platypus along with the echidna, is a monotreme egg-laying mammal. It's native to Australia and Tasmania, where it was hunted to near extinction during the 1800s for its fur, but has been protected since the turn of the 20th century. Thought officially a protected species the platypus, is at risk because of poaching. Sharing something in common with bats, eyes are the only primates of the mammal world, to rely on echolocation for hunting. The eye is a rather unusual cousin of us humans. It lives in spherical nests, with a small hole for entry and exit. It uses its long slender middle finger, to tap on trees, in order to find tasty insects, and it uses this same finger to scoop them out. Perhaps it is due to its unusually large eyes, and ears that this unique sensitive primate is believed to be a demon, or a bad luck omen. A native of Madagascar, it is often killed at first notice by the island's superstitious residents. The dugong is a cousin of the manatee, and is closely related to the elephant. It has a split whale-like tail, and will perch underwater on its tail, in order to keep its head above water. It is thought to have inspired ancient myths about mermaids. The dugong is threatened by poachers, who hunt the animal for its meat, oil, skin and bones. It is extremely endangered. The bizarre spring hare, had taxonomists scratching their heads for years. It's been classified with jumping rodents, squirrels, and even porcupines. It's now classified on its own, and it resembles both a kangaroo and hare. It has specialized short limbs with claws, for digging as well as flexible ear flaps, that can be used, to seal off the ear canal to protect against the elements and debris. It's also got a funny resting position, that looks a lot like, the yoga dolphin post. It stretches its long hind legs forward, and then rests its head and arms directly on the ground. The purple frog is really purple. But its brilliant hue is not the strange thing about it. The purple frog spends much of the year living 13 feet below ground. Also called the pig nose for its snub nose, this western Indian dwelling frog was only discovered in 2003, in Kerala. Locals had known about the purple frog for years, but scientists were skeptical. Part of the reason purple frogs were difficult to find, was simply due to the fact that they only come up for air for two weeks, during monsoon season, in order to mate. Winning the cutest bat ever award, is the bumblebee bat, which at its largest measures one inch. These tiny mammals hover, like hummingbirds, and like all bats prefer caves, and love feasting on insects. They can easily perch on the tip of your thumb. This tiny bat dwells in Thailand, and is considered one of the 12 most endangered species. There are fewer than 200 remaining. This unusual amphibian is blind, lives to 100, and goes 10 years at a stretch without food. It lives in the subterranean waters of Italy and Croatia, where it skeeves out the locals, with its strange human-like skin. Its nickname, in fact, is the human fish. Unlike most amphibians, the Olm lives in the water for its whole life. Another oddity of the Olm, its neogenic larval gills. This is not only the rarest, but the strangest parrot in the world. 
Imagine a rather portly nocturnal bird that never flies, preferring to hike through hilly forest for miles every night. It weighs in as the heaviest parrot in the world, at 8 pounds. A resident of New Zealand, which is home to a number of rare birds, there are only 62 kakapos remaining on Earth. The strange Solonodon is a mammal found primarily in Cuba and Hispaniola. Sure, it looks cute and manageable enough, sort of like an oversized hedgehog. Too bad, the Solonodon injects rattlesnake, like venom through its teeth, the only mammal to do so. Easily annoyed, the Solonodon bites at the drop of a banana leaf. Still being both a carrion feeder and insectivore, it is a vital species in its ecosystem. It was thought to be extinct, until scientists found a few still alive in 2003, 